and welcome to another week of Soulfully Guided. I am your host, Pamela Ann. So a few weeks ago, I, I missed last week's show because I was getting um, my health checked or my 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 mouth, my, my teeth, sorry, <laughs> um, which was some really good news. And the week before that, I left myself barely any time to get ready um, because time escaped me. This week, my heart is racing. I'm not going to go into a caller, and I hope what I say is not jumbled. I just had my first affirmation dance off with myself in front of the mirror. And um, while I was getting ready, um, I, I had a really good time, so much fun that it took me an hour and 45 minutes to get ready and I had like a minute to spare to get on this show so I have no idea what I'm going to say or how it's going to come out because um, I'm on an adrenaline high from all that dancing and um, it was a lot of fun I forgot how fun I was <laughs> so um, so I've, I've decided not to go in a caller today but I will do uh, I'll try collective read I often prefer to to connect with people one on one but I'm happy to do that um, we've got lots of things going on um, on social media for the Soulfully Guided business. We've got some great news coming out next month, I hope, and I really can't wait to share it. Um, this is quite big if all things go well. And um, I'm, I've been booked out in May. Um, I do occasionally leave some emergency spots available for bookings. However, I'm accepting bookings for June if anyone's interested. So head over to our website. I've been announced me. <laughs> I'm a I'm a rising star public figure on Facebook. So that sounds kind of huge and I'm really excited. But um, yeah, so but um, in today's, I, I discovered Spotify today. And that's how I started dancing. And I love music from the 50s to, you know, um, the 90s or to the 2000s. And, um, and I found remixes and I just lost my, I, like my health feels really good. And those dance moves were busting something special. So, um, so that's me today in a hypo good mood, but I, I really wanted to share today and I, I haven't prepared what I'm going to say, but a lot has been going on. Um, I never thought my show would heavily or would, would talk a lot about addiction or, you know, even patterns of behavior that aren't an addiction. And a curveball hit me this week, and if I wasn't strong, I, I don't think I would have. I don't think I would have wanted to take substances like, um, you know, drugs. But um, there was a. I smoked cigarettes, which doesn't sound too bad, but I haven't been a smoker for a long time, and um, there was some real, you know, it. I'm not. I don't know my quick date um I, I didn't record it i just it, date i'm not a dates person so i want you to know even as empaths we always want to see the good in people so i hope my words don't mum, mum, jumble up like my heart's racing from all that dancing but there's a hard reality that everyone has to face not just empaths and that is that not everyone wants the best for you. If you've left a relationship and you weren't happy in, if you've left a circle of people because you've decided to be sober, whether you drink or you gamble or you were, you were, you know, taking a substance like I was not, we want to always see the good in people, especially with our hearts. And, you know, when we do well for ourselves and when we break a cycle or make a change to better our lives, the hard truth is not everyone is going to appreciate you being clean or you living your best life or you being happy, you know, and it's not about a revenge thing. I'm being happy. I'm better than you. You know, when you're so happy that you're in your own lane, enjoying your own life. And sometimes triggers and challenges will happen. Um, it crept up on me. Um, you know, I, I got my teeth checked and, you know, I have lovely teeth. I've never had braces of, you know, 
really haven't done work on my mouth, but I was a substance user for 17 years. So I, I'm treating myself to the public system of health, but I'm treating myself to get my health looked at, my physical health through exercise and, um, you know, and mental health through exercise, as well as, you know, all the other sort of medical things that come throughout the body. And um, I'm really happy that I'm so lucky that there's no decay. There's a little spot where a wisdom tooth grow, grew, um, but it's fine. It can just be puttied up or something like this, you know, fixed up. But my teeth are excellent and I put myself under so much stress thinking, oh, my God, I'm going to lose them. I, I haven't looked after myself. But the things that I'm doing are not things that are going to be a concern in the next year or so. They're, they're long-term things. So I'm putting things in place where I'm not a victim of my addiction. Um, I put myself under so much stress and lots was going on, challenges everywhere, out of nowhere. And um, that's what happens in life, whether you're at your best or your worst. You don't get a choice when curveballs or a challenge faces you. And the thing is, when you change, when you change your mindset and you grow as a person and you start believing in yourself and you love yourself, you show up for yourself and so will the world. And the way you do things and the way you respond to things will be so much different. You know, um, my first point of call would have been to use a substance to manage that. Um, I did take cigarettes and um, what I did was I was going to go to the, speak to the doctor about it, at, but I don't want another nicotine supplement. I just stopped. I bought a packet. I had them in about a week or two, or maybe a week, a week and a half. And then um, that's it. I stopped. I realized how strong I was. And instead I signed up for a marathon, which I told my gym was 20 Ks, but it's actually, it's actually only 4 Ks. So it was a bit of a discrepancy there. But then I get myself on top of things and then you'll find more curveballs. So I had someone from my past who actually I tend to, I don't know why I always defend them. Um, but we have to admit some people are made of, you know, some people will focus so much on how bad their life is that rather than making it better, they'll try and bring yours down. And someone that interview, introduced me, um, someone that introduced me to intravenous um, use. And, you know, they came to my profile within 10 minutes to bully me and slander the name of someone that, that they bickered with that's passed away for 20 years and you just think oh my god like I took for granted what being clean meant I took for granted because I live in it every day how strong I am and I'm not better than that person but I was living in a safe little bubble where my past you know was a stepping stone and a power a powerhouse and a you know an inspiration not only to myself to others but then there's you know it's a hard truth that sometimes people don't always have your best interest as at heart and it's really important to know those that wish you well and those that wish you harm and and you know when you make a choice the benefits of those choices you know the real benefits of me stopping substances haven't stopped, you know, eight or 10 years later, they are still coming. So don't give up on you and know that choose your friends wisely. Um, you know, a family member had started some rumors or started a version of their story about what I'd said to them when I called them for happy birthday. And sadly, that was an uncle figure or an uncle. And I've had to make a choice that I can no longer speak to them because, well, you know, I don't identify and I have outgrown with that lifestyle. And it's really sad, you know, thinking you have to walk away from people over and over again. And um, growing up and getting happy is hard work. It, it, it almost killed me to face my trauma or to live through it. And then, you know, here I am really happy and it hasn't come easily. And happiness is not just something you can read how to achieve in a book. It doesn't come with a manual. It comes with wisdom, life experience, and even heartache and really hard choices. We choose.
our lives. We choose to be happy. You know, maybe we can't choose our social class or things like that or, you know, our, our parents, but, you know, we can take control and make changes in our own lives. And, and please know that there's always going to be curveballs. There's always going to be problems. And the more you grow and flourish and face these things, the more you, you know, like find healthier ways to combat these stresses and these curveballs and challenges that face, um, you know, even being a cigarette smoker, which I'm in Australia, the prices are horrific, like my goodness. But, you know, I, I substituted it with something else with a marathon, which I thought was 20 Ks, but is actually four. <laughs> but, you know, life is not easy. You just don't see people on social media and see the only sad part of them or the only happy part of them. Life comes with challenges. There's no such thing as perfection. And we never offer that sort of lifestyle as a soulfully guided service as well. So this is the raw me. This is the challenges even 10 years after or eight years, however long it's been now <laughs> being clean. Um, you know, people will come and try and tear that down, whether it's malevolent or, or, you know, harsh, genuinely harsh or unintentional. We need to survive and we need to be strong and we need to put our best foot forward. So why don't you go and have your affirmation dance in front of the mirror and bust some dance moves and start your day the best way possible, singing, dancing and feeding your soul with goodness. Don't let no one bring you down. Oh, that is me. <laughs> <laughs> that is me and my show for today. Thank you for letting me share all that. Um, it's been a challenge for the last two weeks, but we're back on track. So I hope things are going well for you. We've got a few minutes. I'm going to pull a card just to give some advice if we've got time. <laughs> my producer will probably cut me off. What is the strongest message for all our listeners today? Okay. We have the six of pentacles. So it's about give and take. Um, remembering not to give everything and leaving your cup empty and leaving some time, some effort, if it's money, leaving things for you, leaving something for you. Don't always overgive, but, you know, only give, don't overgive, give what you can and accept only what you can. So this is a time for balance and, and kindness, but don't overstep, don't overgive and enjoy some time for you. So I hope that helps you. <laughs> thank you for joining on our show um and yeah we'll see you next week thank you that's me tuning out